things that are killing your iman without you knowing the first thing is you constantly missing your salah it begins with you miss the prayer it's been hours you kept on delaying it while busying yourself with something worthless guilt finally pushes you through to get up and make your wudu and then finally shaitan whispers to you it's been hours why are you making that salah now it's pointless just wait for the next one you miss that salah it becomes a habit you start now constantly missing all your prayers and then finally you lose that sense of guilt that was always there to tell you oh get up go make your wudu and then finally you start praying completely and then you think about it you think that it is you who is not praying but in the actual sense it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is taking the privilege of sujood from you and then the second thing is listening to music the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said among his people there would be people who would consider illegal sexual intercourse the wearing of silk and then the playing of musical instrument as normal when you think about it music creates this auditory hallucination so what am i talking about so it creates this illusion that you're constantly listening to music even though you, you don't have any headphones on or even though you're not listening to anything and you take this into your salah while you pray you just kind of like think about the music that you're listening to so there is this phrase that says you're what you eat but then in this case is you're what you listen to and the third thing I would say is surrounding yourself with the wrong people so you might be thinking I'm good like I don't get what's it called I don't get influenced easily by people but when you surround yourself with negative people they would eventually pull you into the cesspool of their negative thoughts so it's something that just happens like eventually and the last thing I would say is you're not seeking Islamic knowledge I feel like a lot of youngsters just like rose up and then found themselves just right into Islam because they saw their parents practicing their religion but then you don't take the time out of yourself to really go into Islam and then to see if it is actually what you want and not because your parents are practicing so you have to practice not to make them disappointed now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue to bless us and make this thing a lot more easier for us Assalamu alaikum